So once you've created your CSV data file, you're then going to need to analyze it. And the easiest way to do that is uh, with this one, the visual dashboard. So that's the visual dashboard within EpiInfo. So you open it up and what you need to do is set the data source. So click this. Now the first thing you need to do is change this database type. You need to change it to a flat ASCII file. That's the name for a CSV file. So select that. And then you're going to browse to the location. So for me, let me browse. So your location will, may well be very different on your computer. You just need to know where you saved that a CSV file worth of data. So that's where it is on mine. So you're just finding the folder in which the data lives. So on my, all of my data is in this output folder. So I click OK. And the first row does indeed contain header information. And click OK. Now it's going to list all of the Z CSV files that are in that folder. So I'm going to choose to look at the Doggerlog data, click OK, and then this data should appear. Now this is using a CSV file, so you don't need to be online for this bit. So you can have a check. We've got uh, 282 records in there. You can click this down arrow and look at the data itself. Here's all of the data. You can scroll across and see all the fields in both the Doggerlog and the dog status. But probably the main thing you're going to want to do is analysis. So we go back to analysis, right click, and you can start to add analysis gadget. Probably the thing you're going to use most frequently is this uh, frequency gadget. Click here, and it gives you all of the variables. So for example, you could pick something like, is sterilization requested? Click that. You can group and sort them. So for example, you probably want to mostly group by Banjar name. Click that. Click OK, and then your data appears. OK, so that's just a, a really quick example of the, the way you can um, analyze data in EpiInfo.